This is Dan Reinstein, and I'm now going to go over a routine PRK procedure. Uh, PRK, um, otherwise known as advanced surface ablation, where we are removing the epithelium with alcohol and uh, placing a bandage contact lens in after the procedure. Initially, what we have to do is to create a specular surface by wetting um, the uh, corneal surface. This gives us the ability to have a good corneal reflex, uh, first Purkinje reflex of the coaxially fixating eye, in order to set our eye tracker on the vertex, on the visual axis. Wavefront guided uh, treatments are based on the center of the entrance pupil, and therefore they really aren't good to be performed uh, necessarily in eyes that have large angle capus. Vertex centration of the refractive error correction is by far um, uh, the, the best compromise. So now we're going to take a corneal well, and the size of the well is determined by the size of the ablation and um, uh, you know, the, the optical and transition zone, the full ablation zone. We place the well on the visual axis and push down. We then instill some uh, alcohol. This is 20% ethanol solution, uh, which is then kept in the well for a period of about 40 seconds. If the epithelium separation on the first eye is proving, proves to be difficult, then we leave the alcohol in for longer for the second eye. The alcohol is absorbed using a sponge and cooled BSS is instilled into the well in order to dilute, soak up the remaining alcohol. Alcohol, of course, is very highly toxic to cells. Uh, it, there's a possibility it might have an apoptotic effect on the anterior stromal uh, keratocytes, which prevents haze, possibly. And as you can see here with a dry sponge, we can very easily wipe the epithelium off. All the hemides hemidesmosomes have been uh, broken down by the alcohol. Most of the epithelium has been removed quite simply by just wiping away. The remaining epithelium we will scrape off using a, a very blunt uh, hockey stick. And as you can see, the edge is nice and sharp, quite similar to that of a transepithelial PRK, uh, but with a lot of advantages uh, compared to the irregularities that are induced into the cornea by transepithelial PRK. We set up the cone for controlled atmosphere and perform the ablation. A little white uh, fluffy dot in the center of this patient's pupil is actually an anterior subcapsular cataract, uh, which she's had congenitally uh, all her life. The ablation is performed. You can see the ablation is contained entirely within the deepithelial zone. We now place cooled BSS onto the cornea. We're trying to wash out all of the inflammatory components, all of the inflammatory mediators that were released by breaking up cells during the ablation. Uh, anesthetic is instilled. Prophylactic antibiotics, ofloxacin, topomycin, and dexamethasone. And we place the bandage contact lens in the eye. My preferred lens is the Oasis 8.8, .8, uh, either plus a half or minus a half uh, contact lens. The coefficient of friction of this lens is very, very low. And the base curve of 8.8 .8 means that um, we virtually never get binding of the contact lens with uh, hypoxia and, uh, and pain. And that's the end of the procedure. Thank you very much.